Hey everyone and welcome back to Style by McKenz. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my April favorites. April has been so, so good to me. I've had an incredible month and I'm so excited to talk about it with you all today. Over on the blog I'm sharing my favorites obviously, um, but more entertainment, faith, lifestyle, um, what's been going on this month on the blog, on my YouTube channel, and I am sharing my goals. So aside from the hair, makeup, and fashion, I will be having those things over on the blog as well. So be sure to check out the rest of my favorites after you watch this video. Like I said today, I will just be sharing with you my clothing and makeup favorites. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I am going to share with you are a few of my fashion favorites. As many of you know, I have been a manager of the baseball team this month, and therefore I've been wearing a lot of gold and green. Those are my school colors, and I do like to wear gold or green, or like um, my school's graphic tee, something like that, the day of a game. We have about two to three games a week, so I have been kept pretty busy. A couple of the nicer shirts that I have, because um, I, I don't like to sacrifice my style just for the game, so um, for school I do like to still dress nice. One of the things that I've been wearing is this mustard and white striped top from Loft. It has some awesome bell sleeves on it. A long sleeve is perfect for the spring, um, you know, just with a classic pair of white jeans, things like that. This has been another one of my favorite tops. I just pulled it out of the dryer, so forgive me, it's super wrinkly, but it was just the cutest little peplum. The sleeves flare out. Mustard again with like jeans and sandals is so cute for my game day attire. I also have a few graphic tees that I want to share with you guys too, all from Hunter and Honey. This is one of my favorites to wear. I just love the Hornet holding the baseball bat and the sleeves are super duper cute. Um, I've loved that. I have another one that is just a green t-shirt. It has my last name on the back and then it says manager on the sleeve. I like this one a lot and then I do have a sweatshirt too because it has been kind of chilly. Um, this one's really cute, again, with the same hornet, and I've just been wearing um, my school's attire, things like that, a lot lately because of baseball. That's pretty much been the majority of my fashion favorites just because I have been so involved lately, but, you know, aside from that, um, these have been so awesome. Another one of my favorites was my prom dress. Um, prom was this past Friday for me, and I'm sure that you guys will have seen my Week in My Life by now, and will be seeing more prom pictures on my um, Instagram, Style by McKenz. But this is the dress that I wore. It's just a hunt. Forgive me, I am losing my voice um, over the weekend, but this is just a stunning hunter green dress from Lulu's. I got it in a size extra small. I am 5'2", 110 pounds. And it was a couple inches too long. I should have gotten a hemmed, but I didn't. I wore two inch heels with it, and it ended up working out fine. It just hit the ground. It was beautiful on, fit like a glove, made me feel gorgeous. And for $70, it was not a bad price for a prom dress. Definitely check out Lulu's if you're looking for something that's affordable and yet is still so pretty. Many of you also know that I have been modeling for the brand Indigo Lane as well. Um, this dress is from them, and I just really thought that this was super cute. I just shot a couple of looks from them, and I do have one of their t-shirts right here. So definitely check them out, guys. You can use my discount code, you know, get some dollars off. But check out their site. They, she has really cute clothes, and I love them. As far as shoes go, um, April has been everywhere in terms of the weather. We had a couple of really, really warm days, a couple of really cold um, we have had a bunch of rain, but I have loved these mustard sandals. I would recommend sizing half a, half a size down. These are from Target, just classic mustard. They're flat, super easy to wear, super comfortable. Um, I've had no problems with these. My foot does sweat in them a lot, but you know, it is what it is. Um, these are really cute. These are the yellow sandals that I like to wear with one of these tops and jeans to school on a game day. I can easily like change into sneakers and something more athletic for the game, or I can just wear those and still be comfortable and make it through the day. Some of my favorite loafers are the, these pair from the from Details Boutique. They're from the brand Born in California. Super easy to wear. Mules are so stylish. I just love them so much. These are really, really easy to slip on and go. They don't give me blisters. Comfortable to walk in, and I have just loved these. They've been the perfect in-between season kind of shoe for the month of April. Like I mentioned, my school colors are green and gold, so I have been wearing my Hunters a ton too. For the fact that they are green and for the fact that it's been raining like crazy lately, I have loved my Hunters. I've had these for about two years now, I think, and I wear them all the time. I did purchase a size 8 when I got these, and I kind of wish I had sized half a size down 
just because hunters do run a little bit big. My only complaint is that your feet do, do get a little bit cold in them. I wear my liners a lot if I'm wearing them to baseball, but these have been amazing just wearing them in the dugout when it's muddy on the field. Um, not a problem, super easy to clean, durable, and they look so cute with everything. That's pretty much all for my fashion favorites. Moving on, I do have one hair product that I have loved this month, and it's the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. Like, you have probably caught on. My life has revolved around the baseball boys and the season this month, so dry shampoo has been a must. My hair gets super nappy just sitting in the dugout and just being around all that dirt and stuff. So if I do want to hold myself over to another wash, I have been spraying a bunch of this in and then brushing out my hair, adding a couple of curls the next morning and I look good to go. This is the original, but I really like the blue bottle. That is the texturizing one as well. Both super awesome, but for the price, you guys cannot beat this. Wet n Wild highlighters have been some of my favorite. You guys know that I've used the Precious Petals for months now. I got this like over the summer, I think, and I've used this like it's my job. I've hit pan pretty badly on it. Um, and when I went to Wet n Wild or when I went to CVS to pick up a new um, nail polish for prom, I found that they started selling these at my local CVS. I bought that one while I was in Wisconsin, so I've never seen them at my CVS. And they had one color crown of my canopy. I didn't even swatch it, didn't even look at it. I picked it up and bought it because I love the other one so much. This is a really, really pretty bronze shade. Definitely looks better when you're tan. Like right now, I have a spray tan because of prom. So um, it looks really pretty on now. Um, super pretty, pigmented, you know, looks stunning on. And then when I was picking up a foundation for prom, I saw this gold highlighter. And again, I was like, oh, I just need it because it's wet and wild. And they had like, if I spent $10, I got four off. But it was also called Golden Flower Crown, and I knew I was wearing gold jewelry. I'm pretty much wearing the jewelry that I wore in prom. I wore these rings, this cuff from Target, um, my Kendra, and I did wear this flower crown. Prom was on Saturday, or Friday, and it's Sunday right now, and I wanted to wear my flower crown that I wore to the dance again. I had just put it in the refrigerator and wore it while I took these pictures today. Oh, and these earrings from Icing. They're just clip-ons and I've loved them. So I knew that this was the jewelry and the hair that I was going to wear, and then when it was called Golden Flower Crown, I was like, stop, I need this. This is what I'm going to use. So I pretty much based my makeup off around this highlighter. It's stunning. I do have it on right now. I don't think you can probably tell from this far away, but I did this with like a little gold um, lid and stuff and it was so pretty. I really really am a huge fan of these. I think they're $5.49 and they last forever so definitely check these out. Super comparable to Anastasia's glow kit. Every time that I use the Great Lash Mascara I'm like I love the Great Lash Mascara and then I switch back to the Colossal and I realize that the Colossal really is my favorite mascara. It has the perfect wand. This lengthens, volumizes, and darkens the lashes really well. I don't know if you can see that wand, but I love this wand. It's so awesome. Um, the Colossal is really great. It stays on. And the only thing is I would get the waterproof because if you cry, this is coming off with it. <laughs> but yeah, I've had a super awesome month. Oh, one other favorite. My local ladies. I did get a spray tan from Hair Razors for prom. $25. Super awesome. I have loved it. Um, you are going to smell like spray tan for the first day. But my tan has looked so good. I got it on Wednesday. I got it Wednesday and it's Sunday. I still look pretty dark and it looks really good. I have loved it. It's so good to just be tan for a couple of days, you know, without the negative effects that the sun does, has on you or beds have. So if you want, go check out Hair Razors and you can get a spray tan for any special occasion. She's super sweet and will help you out. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, comments, requests, be sure to leave them below. And don't forget to head on over to the blog to catch all of my week in my life, you know, outfits, prom stuff's going to be on there. All my prom pictures will be on there. I know you guys have wanted to see pictures of Connor and I, and I will have them up over there. Baseball, you know, everything about this month will be over there, so don't forget to check it out. Thank you guys again for stopping by. See ya.